would typically comprise of a, a, a schedule wo working up towards a show for horses and for riders? So um, I had uh, Michelle van Eck as well. He's offered a, a big series here in South Africa come, nice. come as well. Lo lovely guy. And it was also interesting to see how he reads the horses as well. So uh, Michaela's older horse Vulcan doesn't need a lot of jumping at all. So we keep him fit. Um, fitness is the main thing for him. So we do trotting peel track work. I'm lucky we have a racetrack across the road. So we do, we do a lot of fitness and just rideability exercises. And then he'll jump uh, a big course about four days, five days before a big show. And then we just take him over. Um, other horses that can be a little spooky and sharp need to jump quite a lot. So they don't have to jump big, but they would need to do uh, we've got one youngster and, you know, he said to me the day before, do a little circle on jumps or do a figure of eight over jumps until the horse settles into that. And you can put in spooky things, but low, you don't need to load their legs, but they need to jump a lot to not want to run at it. So a lot of the excitable horses do better with more can do better with more little things just to make it boring for them, not to, mm. to get overexcited when they see a jump. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 